So Bitcoin NFTs are the new meta. Why is this big deal? Why do we care? Welcome back. I'm DeFi Bay, crypto native, NFT trader and content creator. Hit that like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. If we look at the coin market cap, Bitcoin is still the king. As big as Ethereum has grown and is still growing, it is undeniable that Bitcoin is the most secure, is the most um, decentralized, and is the biggest blockchain network. So there is a lot of weight in that most people do trust Bitcoin. It's been around the longest. It is the OG blockchain. And of course, you'll have Bitcoin maxis that on a more technical level will argue that Bitcoin is just better. The programming language in itself um, is just more efficient. It works better, etc. That's not this video. I'm going to cover what, where to even start with the Bitcoin ordinals and Bitcoin NFTs in general. So the first thing that I want to differentiate between Ethereum and most Ethereum NFTs and Bitcoin NFTs is that what you don't realize is a lot of Ethereum NFTs are not actually on chain. A lot of it relies on third party cloud servers, whether or not they're truly decentralized is a separate argument, but the fact is your token, your NFT is actually more of a receipt pointing to the JPEG or the audio file on a cloud server like IPFS or Arweave. It's not actually on the Ethereum token or the Ethereum blockchain. And then you have layer twos, you have side chains, you have rollups. So there's a lot of other nuances. But with Bitcoin NFTs, these are actually inscriptions or digital artifacts inscribed onto Satoshis. So on the actual Bitcoin itself, no layer twos, no side chains, no nothing. It is as OG and on chain as you can get. Why is this a big deal? Well, for one, a lot of the diehards of blockchain believe that this is the only way to have true decentralization and freedom of speech. Um, and security because what if your Arweave goes down? What if your IPFS goes down? Then your JPEG is gone and your NFT is essentially worthless. But counting on the fact that Bitcoin has been around for more than a decade, it's the oldest, it's you know the most secure, the most decentralized, having something inscribed on the actual Satoshi gives it the most secure and decentralized place in NFT world. And the other thing is we are so early right now. Granted that, you know, they had a mint your Bitcoin NFT seven months ago in Texas, but we're so early because right now there's no um, marketplace to sell. Everything is OTC or over the counter through Discord chats. And there are no true like equivalents of a MetaMask for Bitcoin. So if you want to transact and trade and mint and sell Bitcoin NFTs, you pretty much have to run a full Bitcoin node right now. And that's technically intensive. Hit that like and subscribe and let's jump right into it. Docs.ordinals.com. Just a brief overview of the ordinal theory. Ordinals are a numbering scheme for Satoshis that allows tracking and transferring individual sats. These numbers are called ordinal numbers. Satoshis are numbered in the order in which their mind and transferred from transaction to transaction inputs to, to transaction outputs, first in, first out. Both the numbering scheme and the transfer scheme rely on order, the numbering scheme on the order in which Satoshis are mined, and the transfer scheme on the order of transaction inputs and outputs. Thus the name ordinals. So it's a little bit confusing, but just basically think of first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, in increasing consecutive numbers. And so uh, generally speaking, first is the rarest. And you know, this can go up to however many Satoshis are in existence. This is ordinals.com. Like I said, there's not even a marketplace or a MetaMask equivalent of a, um, of a user wallet. And so ordinals.com is sort of something that was put together. It's very, it's very raw, as you can tell. Um, these are the latest inscriptions, basically the JPEGs or audio JPEG files that were inscribed onto the actual Satoshi. Um, bit rudimentary stuff, as you can expect. We have numbers, we have check marks, we have ether rocks, punks, apes, corn. 
Okay, so this is an interesting thread by um, Gorgorios, and they go into the effects of Bitcoin NFT so far. So first, Bitcoin Network recently registered the highest transaction fees in over a year, which is great for miners, um, the exponential growth in the number of transactions, which is good for adoption. The reason is MFers invented Bitcoin NFTs. The maxa, the, the Bitcoin maxis and traditionalists are pissed and the miners are happy recording revenue increases. Apparently this is inscription number 30 and they say, how is this even possible? Well, two Novembers ago, an upgrade called Taproot Aim to improve the platform's privacy and performance, opening up new possibilities for developers, including building native apps and storing text or images in transaction data. Emphasis added, Ordinals allows native on-chain storage of JPEGs, which in the eyes of geeks, shows a certain superiority of inscriptions over Ethereum NFTs for the reasons that I mentioned in this video earlier. There's no need for centralized storage like IPFS, which makes Ordinals bulletproof. Um, the brilliant mind behind Ordinals is Rodemar, who has been talking about the protocol for months to deploy it to mainnet in January of this year. I actually watched the video where um, Casey Rodemar had a mint your Bitcoin NFTs, giving out free Satoshis on paper wallets back in July of last year in a Texas conference. Ordinals are single Satoshis or SATs with inscribed arbitrary content using Bitcoin's built-in scripting language. Inscriptions are unique digital artifacts, fully decentralized, permissionless, non-mutable, and 100% on-chain. OGAF. It means that digital artifacts are non-fungible by convention. They are still fungible SATs, but with unique inscriptions on each. You need a dedicated wallet so you don't accidentally send them in a regular transaction. That's how punks on Bitcoin airdrop CZ Binance with 59 punks. Looks like Ordinal's wallet is cooking up something for non-power users. Um, I would give them a follow. It looks like they're one of the earlier projects to try and make a user-friendly Ordinal's wallet so that you don't accidentally send out your NFTs while paying or transacting in Bitcoin. Mint um, inscribing or sending an ordinal is not trivial. You have to run a full Bitcoin node to do it. As the history of crypto shows, the high threshold for entry has usually involved generational wealth for the brave. Just saying. Marketplace for inscriptions is coming. Asking will Twitch be the first. For now, you can find a buyer on the project's Discord and then make an exchange on the OTC platform. Early ETH vibes all over ordinals. Why else are NFTs good for Bitcoin? One, they add a new use case for it. Two, they attract new users and creators. Three, they improve the economy for miners. Um, still, Bitcoin's inner circle of developers is against it. They call it a waste of resources that should be used for financial operations. Uh, some went to censor it, which is ironic because it goes against the entire idea behind Bitcoin at its inception. So here are some collections worth mentioning. First ever collection, Ord Rocks. First DAO, Ordinal DAO, um, ASCII Art Project, Ordinal Loops, Personal Fave, Bitcoin Shrooms. Ordinal's handbook speculates on the next use cases. Off-chain colored coins, public key infrastructure with key rotation, a decentralized replacement for the DNS, they're looking forward to it as it's obvious that inscriptions is just the beginning. And you're so early because this thread was literally created February 7th, so three days ago. Dota says, a guide to creating Bitcoin NFTs for Ethereum people who are Bitcoin curious. They call it inscribing and here's how you do it. Um, it's obviously very different from Ethereum and there are some pitfalls that you want to avoid. It's a technical process and will require some command line skills. First thing you're going to need to do is run a full Bitcoin node. There are lots of ways to do this. Uh, Dota personally used AWS and even paid extra. Um, pick then you pick a then you pick an image size that is large but within your budget. Uh, disk speed is your limiting factor, so pick an EBS with an IO2 64,000 provision IOPS. I have no idea what I just said, but I'm sure some of you can understand. Um, 
and he and Dota goes a bit more technical in how to run the Bitcoin node and install the Ord client. Um, Ord also has its own index and they have their own handbook with steps on how to use their program. And then Dota links a GitHub document on how to use Ord and Bitcoin clients, I'm guessing. Um, and also warns, be careful, do not send funds from your wallet using Bitcoin client, use only the Ord client. Not gonna lie, it is a whole process. When I said the barrier to entry is high, I meant it, especially if you're a non-technical person. Now, some notable collections that um, that have been going around as one of the earliest OG and perhaps more valuable, but honestly, only time can tell with these sort of things. Right now, the game is to buy and hold because it is extremely hard to, to sell and to send um, without having easier user interfaces to distinguish between your regular Satoshis and your Bitcoin NFT Satoshis, your ordinals. So Dota also has another really good thread on notable ordinal collections in the first 5,000 inscriptions. Um, they mention Bitcoin booze, set of a hundred cute ghost-like characters. Then there, and right now, they're going for 0.2 to 0.4 BTC, which at this price is about $8,400. Um, then there's Gold Rush, a set of vintage photographs of gold miners, confirmed sales about 0.2 BTC. There's Nature of Bitcoin, there's Ordinal Penguins in the 2000, um, Ordinal's NFT. Generative art with grid wave, uh, glitchy smear faces, and C CCO collections from Ethereum like toads and moonbirds. Um, you also have Bitcoin symbols, which is Bitcoin JPEG. Another generative art, and then glitch portraits, kind of going off of the X copy vibe. And then finally, inscription 5000 is the text 5000 itself. And that sums up ordinals in the 3000 to 5000 range. Um, oh, and then they also forgot to put punks on Bitcoin. Um, an original collection of 100 ordinals, not affiliated, not affiliated with Larva Labs. And if you're interested for the ones that are under 3K, probably more pricey, they talk about apes on Bitcoin, which price is currently 0.35 BTC. Um, Ordro, Ordrothkos. You have some more Jared art, you have some more Pepe's, you have um, a lot of memes, and you just have a really wide variety of experimental inscriptions. And so right now, there is a wait list for the upcoming Ordinals wallet project. Click the link below, make sure you put in your email and be notified of when this goes live to make your life much easier. And this is an eye-catching sale. Planetary Ordinals number 42, inscription 981, just sold for 1.5 BTC. That is over $34,000 in today's prices. So, a lot of stuff happening here. And once you have Bitcoin whales and Ethereum whales, basically just whales, crypto whales in general, uh, waking up to this and joining, this could be massive. This is the obvious play right now. And there is very high risk because there's no marketplace, so you have to trust some sort of escrow method to do an OTC sale. And you have to also be aware that there's gonna be a lot of scammers, especially without proper guardrails for your average consumer. So yeah, that's what I got for you today. Definitely follow me on Twitter to keep up with the latest. And I'll see you in the next one.